All right, welcome to Open Air 7 again, uh, brought to you by theferrypilot.com. And we're going up today to Hyannis, Massachusetts to pick up a passenger. I'm going to get the weather right now at uh, Gaithersburg, and then we'll get the clearance and we'll be out of here. SFRA rules are in effect. Do not squawk 1200 at any time. Deer and bird have been seen on the airfield. Fly over Davis Airport at 2000 feet. Runway 32 is right hand pattern. Montgomery County Airport. Automated weather observation 1742 Zulu weather. Wind 220 two, at 11. Peak gust 1 niner. Visibility more than 1 zero. Sky condition clear below 1 2000. Temperature 2 1 Celsius. 2.7 Celsius. Altimeter 2 niner 8 2. Remarks. SFRA rules are in. Potomac clearance, open air 7. Open air 7, Potomac. Yes, sir, I'd like to pick up the IFR to Hyannis, please. Open air 7 is cleared to Hotel Yankee Alpha Airport. Uh, enter controlled airspace, direct echo Mike India, Baltimore, then it's filed. On departure, maintain 3,000, expect 7,000 in 10 minutes. Frequency 128.7, squat 6512, null for release. Clear to Hyannis upon entry control, control the airspace, direct to Westminster, then uh, direct Baltimore, then as file. 3,000 initial, 7,010, 128.7, and uh, 6,512 on the transponder for Open Air 7. Open Air 7, read back correct. Give us a call when you're number one, ready to go. Yeah, and we'll hold for release. We'll call you when we're number one for departure, Open Air 7. Thanks. All right, that was easy. So we're going to set up here 3,000 feet in our altitude window. Wonderful. And Westminster, Baltimore, then direct. So I have my, or not direct, it's filed actually. I got my flight plan here. We're going to hit the flight plan page. It's going to bring up the flight plan. Gaithersburg is going to put in EMI. That's Westminster VOR. Verify it. Enter. Very good. From there, I'm going to go to the Baltimore VOR. Verify Baltimore. Yes. Enter. Now I'm going to do um, Victor 268. So I'm going to hit menu. Load airway, enter, and choose Victor 268. And now it's going to ask me where I want to exit Victor 268. That's Smyrna, Echo November Oscar. There it is. Hit enter. Load, yes. Good. And I'm going to a different airway, Victor 16. So I'm going to do again, menu, load airway, Victor 16, enter. Where am I exiting it? At JFK. So I'm going to hit up JFK, enter, load. Very good. And after that, Victor 229. So again, menu. Load airway, Victor 229, and we're going to get off Victor 229 at Hartford, Hotel Foxtrot Delta, enter, load, yes, and I'm going to put my destination, Kilo Hotel Yankee Alpha, Yankee Alpha, and Hyannis, Massachusetts, that's the one, enter, and there's my flight plans in, and now I can go back to the main page, now we're going to taxi out for departure, see you for takeoff. Okay, we're after our run-up. We're ready for departure. Everything's already set. 3,000, now two minutes are set. And we're going to call Potomac now that we're ready to go. Number one at Gaithersburg. Potomac clearance, open air seven. Number one at uh, Montgomery County, ready for departure. be really nice if I got an answer. Open air 7, release for departure. Release for departure, open air 7, thank you. And there's the answer. I'm going to swap over to Montgomery County, got the departure frequency in the standby. Base clear, final clear, no one's on the runway. Montgomery traffic, open air 7 is departing runway 32, Montgomery. Montgomery traffic, Skyhawk 52632, 4 miles north west of the field, inbound for the RNAV 14, Montgomery.
traffic, 6 o'clock, same altitude, 0 miles. Yeah, that's me. That's telling me that that's me. Off a little bit so you guys can get a better idea of what's going on. All right, so here's the MFD. I'll hold it with this hand. Here I have all the engine controls, 70% power, 2540 on the RPM, 22.6 manifold, 14.5 uh, gallons per hour, my fuel, how much fuel I've used, oil temperature, oil pressure, etc. Uh, navigation radios on top. I have here some navigation instrument uh, information, flying at 212 knots. That's current Zulu time. Fuel on board is 63 gallons. On the right, I have destination. Fuel over destination will be 40 gallons. Estimated time and routes an hour and a half to Hyannis, so 327 miles away, and bearing is 070 if I wanted to go direct to there. Here you can see this lovely picture of where we are, the world around us. We can zoom in and zoom out of this as we please. And there's Victor 16. Victor 1 goes kind of out over the water. And I can set some things up on the map. If I hit map, I could take away the topography and just leave a black uh, picture. I could do airways. So if I push airways, airways on, it'll now show me where all the airways are. I could do next rad uh, for uh, weather radar. Let's see if I zoom out if we get next rad somewhere. I don't see really where it's raining. Let's see if I do this. And we go scrolling up. Yeah, man. There you go. There you, there you go. So, Hyannis, I can see right now there's some some weather moving off the coast of Hyannis. By the time I get there, I think it'll be beautiful. So that's how the next round shows up. Uh, let's get rid of this. I could do profile, which is always fun. What profile does is it gives you a legend of where the winds are. So you can see if you have headwinds or tailwinds at different altitudes to help you choose the altitude you're flying at, which I think is really cool. That's the map page, and I can choose also to just have traffic map, uh, just have weather data, and just to do uh, terrain alerts if I wanted it. I'm going to go over to the waypoint page, which is also cool. Waypoint has all the information for my uh, where I'm going to, the name of the airport, elevation, does it have avgas or jet fuel available, uh, the runways, I can see what runways they have, and all the frequencies are right there, plus a little taxi diagram, which is great. I can also select approaches from here. I'll show me what the approaches are. I can hit weather, and it'll tell me the latest weather for that uh, airport. So right now, 10 miles, sorry. The winds are uh, 0, 0, 10 knots, 17 gusts, 8 miles, light rain, clouds, 4,800 overcast. I'm going to get rid of weather. going to go back to Info 1. I can do charts. And now that gives me the actual Jepson charts. If I push the button, I can go over here, and I can choose. It's not letting me choose that. So why is it letting me choose that? Because I didn't choose an approach yet. So that's wonderful. Chart options. I could choose now if I want it to be fit width, full uh, full length. I can customize this as much as I want. Get rid of chart. Okay. Going over now, one more down. I can choose intersections, NDBs, VORs, user waypoints, everything I can do set up from there. Over to the AUX page, this must be the funnest page ever because you have you could pretty much set up the entire system using this page. Uh, I can go to trip planning. Open air 7, just to maintain 5,000. Down to 5,000, open air 7. So see, watch how this works. Okay. I'm going to use this button now, switch this to knob. I'm going to change that to 5,000. Once it's there, I'm now going to give it a descent. I'm going to give it vertical speed. I'm going to roll down, and that's going to set a 500 foot minute descent down to 5,000. I see it says altitude select, so I know once it reaches the altitude, it's going to level off. Very good. So I'm going to monitor that while talking to you. So you have different stats about your uh, about the flight. I'm going to go down one more page, utility, where you can just set different things up, uh, GPS data, so you can see you know what the satellites are doing. Uh, system setup, essentially, don't touch this one. XM radio, this is the funnest one. Watch, I get rid of mute. Let's get the volume up here. So wake me up when there you go. And this is the coolest part of my job, I think. That in cruise, I can listen to XM radio. You know, that's just something which is awesome. And you have your own selection of, you know, of channels. Yeah, we're going to turn that off now so I can continue talking to you. And system status, and here's a cool one. Watch this. Get ready for it. Blow your mind. Look at that infrared camera hung under the wing, which is cool. I use this mainly to clear off runways at night to make sure that there's no deer. 
and that is just awesome, just pure awesomeness. Okay, let's move over to, I'm going to go back to Extra Radio because I want to play with that later. Flight plan page. I got all the information for my flight plan right here. This will even show me a little bit of any uh, weather for my airports. Uh, I can do, let's see, what else can I do? Flight plan catalog, see where I've been to, I can save flight plans. And it's pretty easy. I'm, using, I, I'm, guess, I'm hoping you saw some of how I set it up in the beginning. Another cool uh, option is checklists. Uh, emergency procedure. It, it defaults to emergency procedures, but I can choose, uh, let's say, normal procedures, enter. So let's say I'm doing uh, pre-flight inspection, enter. All this stuff, once, once it's done, I hit check, and it turns green. So that way you know where you are in your checklist. Pretty cool stuff. Exit. And if at any point in time you get lost and you're not sure what to do, you can always hit this little clear button, hold it down for a couple seconds, and it takes you back to your main app navigation page. Down to 5,000, 2 Bravo Golf. Winds are 080 at 11, gusts of 17, I'm landing runway 6. Cool thing gives you your METAR. Open Air 7 has a visual on the airport. Open Air 7, Roger. Open Air 7, clear visual approach from way 6, contact Hyannis Tower. Clear visual 6, contact the tower. Good day. Okay, heading mode. Let's go to the right. Hyannis Tower, Open Air 7 at 3000 on the visual runway 6. Like the lower altitude, let's say 1500 feet, vertical speed down. Pictures coming in, full ridge, boost was on, lights are on. I have an extended center line to help me make sure I'm landing on the correct runway. Not saying that I can't, but you always want to have something to back you up. Correction option seven, you can be number two four on a twin Cessna on a uh, two and a half mile right base runway six. Suggest a uh, continue on the base heading. All right, I understand number two behind the twin Cessna. We'll be looking for him, but we'll continue on this heading for now. Open air seven. Here, six twenty seven number one runway six. Clear to, uh, clear to land and uh, and maintain uh, present speed. I don't know if I broke you up. Care 627, runway 6, clear to land. Clear to land 6, 627, thanks. We'll keep it up as fast as we can. It yeah, actually looks pretty good right now. You can resume normal speed. Okay. And option 7, just a square turn to final number 2, runway 6, clear to land. Clear to land number 2, and we're open air 7, sir. Open air. Uh, thanks. I was uh, wondering when you could correct me on that. Thanks. Open air 7, thanks. Okay. Open it, so we got the twin test on site. Okay, now it's going to yell at me altitude, so I'm going to change my altitude settings. <laughs> Runway 6, heading 068, that matches up nicely.
500. Thank you, ma'am. I love planes that talk to you. Minimums, minimums. Now we're down. Yes, sir, opener seven is not familiar. Should I clear left or right? And opener seven, where are you parking? Directrix. Now you want me to turn left. And uh, after the left turn, continue on Charlie to cross runway one five and make a right turn on Alpha, then left on Delta to the north ramp, remain this frequency. Okay, so it's left, Charlie, cross, um, was that runway 15, you said? Uh, yeah, continue all the way, cross runway 15, then you make a right turn on Alpha, left on Delta to the north ramp. Okay, cross 15, then right Alpha, left Delta to the ramp, open our center. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Welcome to Hyannis. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it, tell all your friends. See you next time.